Hello everybody, welcome to Bass and Bonsai. This is how you do it. Big, giant, largemouth bass. And oh yes, she's a kisser. Hello everybody, welcome to the show. We are out here on the water. This is our test pond. We're not really fishing, we're just getting some testing in today. Uh, I have to admit, I went fishing yesterday, got skunked. You ain't gonna see any footage there, nothing to see. So what we're doing today, we're going through our whole lineup of rod and reels, basically. So let's zoom down here. And we're going to start probably from the heaviest and work our way to the lightest baits and rod and reel combos for those lightest baits. So buckle up, hang on. Let's get out here and test out some new rod and reel Today, combos. another shootout between rods. This is a, a length type deal. These are both medium heavy rods. Now they're different brands, but they're built on roughly close to the same type of blank. So, and then this is the Corrado K. That's the Scorpion MGL. If anything, this Scorpion MGL supposedly should have an advantage over the K as far as casting, ease, and distance with that MGL spool. But we're throwing a half ounce chatterbait today. This is my chatterbait rod and reel for sure. Six foot seven, medium heavy. This is a seven foot two medium heavy, which is more of my jigs and type stuff like that. But I'm gonna try to see, because a lot of people say, you know, you need longer rods, which the only way you might need a longer rod, it, it adds a little bit of distance. So we're gonna roughly get an idea of, do you gain more distance with the seven foot two, say for a six foot seven? Quite a few inches difference in length, but I'm thinking that you don't gain enough to justify why I need to use one this long. I like a six foot seven. Uh, a lot of people say it gives you more leverage. A longer rod does not give you more leverage. A longer rod takes away leverage. Just uh, physics, look it up, study it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Yes, it lets you work more line, you know, say further out if I got a longer out here. You know, I want to work line around if I'm fishing around brush or stuff like that. But just for, as far as leverage on a fish, the shorter the rod, the more leverage you have on a fish. Plain and simple, trust me. All right, so buckle up, hang on. I'm going to start with the little short guy, six foot seven. My uh, chatterbait rod, and then a try seven foot two. And I, I'll probably be fishing both because sometimes you get out there and you're trying to figure out which chatterbait. I'm going to be doing chatterbait shootouts. Might be throwing on all three of them, even this six foot ten. Uh, so I may throw this in the mix with the DC reel and just uh, see which one gets the most distance. Well, I'm going to start with my chatterbait rod and reel combo. If you guys aren't familiar with this, six foot seven. Well, let me try to show you. Can you make that out? Cayenne Conqueror. Six foot seven. Uh, yeah. MH, which is medium heavy. A quarter to one ounce is what it's rated for. This is a half ounce, fits right in that uh, middle of the sweet spot, I guess you'd say. Oh, did I tell you what we're using? This is a half ounce. Now it's going to weigh a little more. I do have a paddle tail swim bait on it. That is, uh, I bought one more jackhammer. I forget the name of that color, but pretty bright chartreuse and yellow and white on bottom. Just kind of a green pumpkin on top. Got that swim bait upside down. The paddle works better upside down. Colors are a little funky, but should work awesome, right? Should catch fish. Now, we're not gonna catch any today. We still have 45 degree water. So let's just see how far, now the wind's blowing kind of, we're kind of with the wind, but at a sideways angle. The wind's coming in hard from this way. So we're kind of throwing, not necessarily with it. We won't get maximum distance as if we were throwing that way. But let's just see what kind of distance we get with six foot seven medium heavy so you can see how much of the spool ran out how far it went hopefully did you guys see how far it went I guess I should make sure I got the camera adjusted right whoa whoa can you guys see out there hopefully you saw that we're gonna get a couple casts on each one make sure I reel it in fast this is an eight to one eight two to one Eight five to one, but it's pretty fast, and we're we were ways out there. All right, let's get another good cast in. You guys can see that way out there, not to the other side of the bank, but half of the that's twenty pound braid, 
we're throwing off about half of the spool or so. So plenty long enough for any kind of casting I'm definitely going to be doing. So let's switch it up. See if I think that this uh, six, or sorry, seven foot two or what used to be seven foot two rod. It actually gains any distance you will not gain accuracy by going with the longer rod you might be able to say to as close as accurate but accuracy is usually lost with the longer rod kind of like the opposite of a gun the shorter the barrel the less accurate the longer the barrel fishing rod is pretty much different okay let's see the wind's picked up pretty good Nope, didn't really gain. I don't even know if it threw it as far. Now, I will say this is four strand braid, and I got eight strand on all my other reels, so that braid may be coming into play a little bit. Let's try that again. And not really. No, I mean, it's very close I don't think it's gaining anymore if anything I say the six foot seven I thought was thrown just a touch further I guess I should check the settings Whoa. okay one thing I will say I got this set between two and three on that dial you probably can't see that but this one I got set on three, so I got this one turned up a little bit more. That may be coming into play when we're dealing with the same exact weight bait, roughly the same uh, reels. So I'm going to dial it down just a hair. Hopefully it don't backlash. But that is right where that one is set for this bait. Let's see, we've got our paddle tail that's caught in our hook. All right, let's try this again. And yeah, I think it's about the same. I don't think I'm gaining any distance, which is weird. I thought I would gain a little bit. I mean, I thought I would gain at least a, uh, you know, three to five feet maybe. I don't think I'm gaining any distance by having that much longer of a rod. No, I mean, it's thrown about half the spool off also. Let's try the DC. Just It's a, it's a heavy rod, but 6 foot 10. Just to see if that DC can overcompensate for a rod that's a little stiffer than it needs to be. And cast this baby further. Because that DC, them DC reels, they ain't no joke. They actually, there's something to that. In case any of you guys are wondering. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but man, they can they can make a difference. Let's just we gotta try it, right? Let's see. Now this is definitely a heavy rod. I I, I could I guess you could throw it, especially if you were dealing with some pretty you know stout cover. So and I probably will be throwing it, chatterbait on it. And definitely that big two ounce chatterbait. So yeah, right off the bat, DC reels are the way to go, boys and girls. One more to make sure it wasn't a fluke, but by how long I'm reeling. Now this is a lighter. This is a 7.4, not an 8.5 to 1, 7.4 to 1. One more long cast. Come on. Oh, that wind. Kicking up. Oh, boy. Yeah. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that sucker. When the wind does pick up, the DC goes nuts. Like, it just goes on out there. 
threw way over half the spool off on that calf. Come on. Wow. That is taking forever. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. Get you some DC reels. Oh, wait, we're talking about rods. But there you have it as far as rods go. The length of rod didn't seem to play a factor in this shootout. So, and I figured I have no issues throwing smaller. I, I throw shorter rods than most people nowadays. Everybody's into that seven foot, seven foot, two, four, six, eight, eight foot swim bait rods, all that kind of stuff. But if you got the right rod and rating and a good reel set up for the, your bait, a shorter rod will still zing them a long ways out there. And in most cases, you don't need super long casts. Yeah, I get it. Some of the, you know, big swim baits nowadays, uh, some of the bigger, and always has been the bigger, deeper diving cranks where you need a long cast so it gets down to the depth you're wanting to run. But for your average, you know, top waters, especially where you're throwing in little, you know, places, I feel sometimes trying to make too long a cast actually kills some of your chances at catching more fish because I just use for example, say I got a whopper plopper on. And I come to a long bank and I cast like as far as I can with that whopper plopper and I catch a fish like, which never seems to fail. I catch one like within the first 10 foot. Well, I gotta bring that fish and it's splashing and carrying on all the way back to me, which more than likely will spook or could spook the chance of any fish between me and that long cast if it was there. So I kind of like to, even if I'm throwing along the bank, not to make as long a cast as I can, I'm finding. So I don't really, I hardly ever deep crank, so I don't really have a need for a super long rod. I got a few now for jig, you know, for like flipping, pitching, uh, you know, trying to punch, that kind of stuff at the reservoir a few places. But if you, if you see my lineup, this is the longest rod I have, and I chopped it down some on the butt, which is it's just under a seven foot rod now, but it still has like the length of what a normal seven foot two would be. And this is gonna be for my jigs and, you know, you know all different weight kind of jig stuff i'm throwing down i got it balanced to where when i'm holding it you know i'm like this and it's just teetering in my hand i can feel those little subtle bites even with bigger baits that kind of stuff and then i got the six foot ten just because that's the length that kain uh made makes the conqueror in a heavy i would have settled if it had been a six foot seven heavy i would have took it no problem no issues for me to use it so anyway hopefully you like that all my rods like i said in this lineup pretty short Un just under seven foot down to five foot two for my crappie rods on my true bfs stuff all right get out of here go bass and bonsai for yourself and thank you for watching seriously get out of here stay tuned for future videos i got a lot of different videos coming up on the bass and the bonsai side for sure exactly how we do it big large mouth bass let's see if it'll jump that is a beauty. Yeah! Woo! Well, believe it or not, we've actually caught a fish. I wasn't recording, I was just playing around. That little sucker right there caught this little guy right here. You girls don't want to throw it back? Yeah. Yes, no? Hey. No. I'm scared of it. Here we go. I hope, I hope so, you don't catch the same one again. You didn't get skunked caught a bass. All I was doing, throwing out into the wind and then just reeling back very slow. All right, boys and girls, third fish of the day on this bait. That bait has caught everything. That is the Bass Pro Shops 1 8 uh, underspin, little like crappie jigs. And that's the new Meredith bait I just picked up from AliExpress. Caught that's the third one one of them got I like, had it up and then it got off I didn't show it to you guys I may put the chesty on and go around this pond real quick with this see how many we can catch I was kind of doing little test videos today but getting some sun 